the gentleman for yielding. And Madam Chair, I rise to oppose this Democratic budget. Uh, as we've heard repeatedly tonight, it spends too much, it taxes too much, and it borrows too much. But I want to be fair to my friends on the Democratic side. There's one area of the budget where there's a glaring exception to that rule, and that's the defense of the United States of America. Over the course of a 10-year projected Obama budget, we'll move from 20 percent of the federal budget down to 14 devoted to defending the country. We'll move from just over 4 percent of the gross national product to 3 to defend the United States of America. We'll risk canceling major weapon systems like the future combat system, a tanker that will, will help us project air power around the world, and missile defense at a time when the North Koreans and the Iranians are developing missiles. That risks jobs, that risks security, that's reckless in a dangerous world. That's not just my opinion, Madam Chairman. Let me read from uh, Robert Samuelson's recent article, Obama the Great Pretender. It would be responsible for Obama to acknowledge the big gamble in his budget. National security has long been government's first job. In his budget, defense spending dropped from 20 to 14 percent of the total in from 2008 to 2016, the smallest share since the 1930s. The decline presumes a much safer world. If the world doesn't cooperate, deficits will grow. More importantly, American soldiers and American security will be at risk, Madam Chairman. So let's reject this budget because it does spend too much, it does borrow too much, it does tax too much, and let's embrace the Republican alternative, which spends less, borrows less, taxes less, but most importantly, puts more resources where it counts, defending the United States of America. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I yield back.